Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. I want to do a review on the new dockyard ship, which I now have, the Lucian, I hope I'm saying that right, Pan-Asian, Chinese. It's a destroyer. Um, it's a pure gunboat with great torpedoes. I really do like this boat. She is absolutely phenomenal, and this is my uh, co-op, I was playing co-op with it. Um, bots are not exactly the smartest thing, but you get a lot of, a lot of DPM damage per minute in this boat. It's a lot of fun, and it's really good in randoms battles as well. So, so far overall, I like the boat. Is it worth it? Well, we'll get into that a bit later because I want to talk about some other things that are specific to this boat and things in the game that have actually changed over the last two, two and a half years that you should be really aware of before you grind for this or sink money into it. But that's just my view and my opinion, and as always, we'll get into it. Oh, by the way, the AP on this boat is fantastic. It's just amazing. It can actually AP cruisers with the size okay, of the guns more. and AP... Not AP, or, uh, sorry, Citadel cruisers, which is just amazing but anyway as always um let's get into it shall we okay so let's look at the armor layout she's got uh 19 mil on the side 19 mil and 13 mil don't forget 19 mil on the front of the, uh, the uh, turrets that doesn't really help but 19 mil she can actually you know bounce some ap 24,000 for ap 130 millimeter guns but they fire 1.7 seconds I've got my expect out to a 14.8 kilometer range, and turret traverse is only 8.7 seconds, which is pretty good. And she can pen 22 mil with her um, any destroyer, basically. Um, torpedo tubes, excellent. Two times five, five per side. Sorry, 10 per side if you, if you really want to. 65 knots, 11 kilometers, really good range. Can't do any damage to a destroyer, typical pan Asian, but I love it a lot. Depth charges, two drops. 40 seconds. It's got to be 30 seconds. I even struggle in a couple of re random games and whatnot trying to kill subs. It's a pain in the butt. What tell me other than the Vermont guns reload in 40 seconds? Max speed 37.9. I've actually had it up there with the speed flag. Rudder shift is fantastic at 4.6. Concealment is okay at 5.8. It's really good. It's not bad. I, I take all the captain skills. Penalty and smoke for firing is 2.8, which is fantastic, but she doesn't come with smoke. And detectability by air and subs is 2.9 kilometers if a subs have periscope depth. Equipment, this is how I'm going to expect out. You guys know me, main arm modification. Engine room protection, because you're destroyer, you're going to get knocked. Aiming modification, because I want aiming, because I take the distance one. Propulsion mod, because I want a juke and jab, which really did help. Concealment, and of course, take gunfire control system to extend my range by 16%. Uh, repair, 5 seconds, 38 seconds reload, really good. Heal is fantastic on this boat. It's a bit of a mixed bag, but it's really good about the, how well it does. Hydro is phenomenal. 5.5 kilometers in ships, 3.8 with torpedoes. This is like British Hydro lasts forever. And at 5.5 kilometers, up there with like the GK. There's the flag, specked out for HE for me. Exterior, permanent camels. I think that's what I have. You can have that one. It's still too fancy and poor kind of thing for me. I just plain Jane's fine with me. Captain skills, let's go look at him. So I took Grease to Gears for the specialty captain. Then I have uh, Liquidator for torpedoes. So I have 30% more chance of fire, or flood rather. Preventive maintenance is for me, last stand, and patrol. These four are really important. I did take survivability expert because I wanted as much health as possible, and it does pay off. I find it tier 10. It's an extra 3,500 health. Adrenaline rush, fill the tubes because, hey, I want them to a little quicker. And, of course, concealment. This is what I take from mine. It's a pretty standard build that I take from me. All right, a little bit of random. So what's the big deal about this boat? So obviously it has great guns. It has, I'm going to say, really good torpedoes. It has great AP, great HE, can pen. Oh, I remember this game now. I was begging the CV to give me a hand here so we could win this game. But anyway, it can, you can jive. You're about to see some of that right now. Problem and being able sir. to, you know, move left, move right. But the game has changed in two and a half years. So be careful. This is not a tech tree ship. It's something you pay for. And it's hundreds of dollars if you're going to pay for it in doubloons. As long as you have the doubloons. Or if you're going to grind for it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a hard grind in the dockyard. But I will say... What has changed? The Friesland, the Gronik, all these other boats that are gunboats, or tech trees like the Kitakazi, the Haragumo, uh, that one dude I showed you a little bit before about this boat getting killed in the first couple minutes of a game, that was a Haragumo and a backed up cruiser. You can die pretty quick. Your DPM's great, but those boats like the Kitakazi and Haragumo, they can go toe to toe with you and kill you. That wasn't the case two and a half years ago with all these boats that have showed up. You know, we talked the Friesland, the Grom, the Ragnar you're going to be pretty much even and you don't have smoke so a lot of those boats have smoke so just think about this if you really want it if you are a gunboat player but down below in the comments let me know let me know what you think of the boat i'm giving this boat a solid 
A plus. I like the boat. I'm glad I got it. I'm very happy about it. I had the balloon, so I bought it. And I'm good. And I, I'm, I'm not dissatisfied. But let me know down in the comments. But as always, take care, stay safe, and uh, well, as always, bye for now.